Uh, so nice to meet you. So today, uh, Sir Pastor Tony went to Japan, so he asked me to do that. A little bit I'm nervous, but I want to share what God talked to me these days. And I hope you may listen to the Word of God, not by people's word. Today's title is Today's title is Free from the uh, Snare. It is a message of a Pastor Chess Friday message. It touches me a lot, so I want to share about it. So, first one is Do you know what is a snare? Do you know what is snare? So, when do we use the snare? To catch the animal, right? When you catch something. In Korean, a snare is Olmo is in Korean. So when we use the snare, so we want to catch an animal. I never seen a uh, snare with my eyes, but on TV I saw a snare. A rabbit was caught by a snare. It tried to come out of the snare. It's more, you know, it chained off his neck more tightly. He tried to try to escape from that. He couldn't come out of the snare. So why am I saying the snare? Uh, first one is snare. Snare means, you know, first one is uh, mm, uh, it means snare as I will uh, compare with uh, uh, what makes you influence in your life. So let's think about the last week. What makes you influence by other things? What is your master? What makes you, what kind of thinking did you spend most of your time? For example, somebody can be a uh, snare, can be worries or problem with uh, people, or can be money, it can be your future, it can be many, many things can be your snare. <coughs> it means it can be your master in your heart. Uh, when you think about the, your life, what kind of thinking did you spend most of the time in a day? What kind of thinking did you think a lot, complaining or problem of uh, your money or your situation or people who made you hard or you know, your family, what makes you, you know, distressed, what makes you influenced to you? Snare means you are, you don't know that sometimes you don't know you are caught by a snare, but already you are caught. It means in your heart, you know, that kind of thing can be your master. By what? Are you happy? What makes you happy? What makes you joyful? What makes you sad? By your parents' money? What, your boyfriend, girlfriend? What do you think your most of your time? Girlfriend, boyfriend, money, and your environment, your owner, your people, your parents. Are you influenced of the, by the word of God or by, are you influenced by the words of people? How do, how do people think you? Really, we are the children of God. It means God is with us. But sometimes we are lost because of my situation. Really, you know, Satan make you be deceived by the situation or snares. Sometimes you could not catch it. You are caught in the snare. So you thought, oh, this is my style. This is my thinking. This is my, oh, because of this is her for This is a problem of money. I don't have money. You know, you can think like that. But it can be your snare. Because your identity is you are 
God's child. God is in you. And really, you sometimes you focus on the matter, focus on the money, you are focused on your future, focus on your boyfriend, girlfriend, you focus on the problem, you lost the spiritual world. Really, Satan is here. Satan working. Satan is working. And God is working. But really, you know, if you focus on the matter or something, you lost it. For example, uh, last week, many people asked me translation, English translation. I did my best. I, I do, I did it, I did it, I did it, but I lost it. God is with me. Because I can do by my effort. The, in my heart, you know, I thought, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to hurt my pride by others' uh, evaluation. If I do a wrong, People say, oh, she didn't, she didn't do well. She, she is not excellent. You know, I don't want to listen to that kind of people's saying. That people's saying, people's words can be my master. So I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit stressful to translate. So at that time, I lost that I am, I, God is with me. I am a child of God. I lost it. Sometimes Satan give you something. Oh, which you like. A boyfriend, girlfriend, and uh, your money and your all things that Satan give you. But Satan make you deceive, not to know the, who you are. You know? So really, snare is you lost the spiritual world. And then <coughs> Satan, you know, lets you miss the you are an evangelist. You know, Satan say, oh. Now you have problem. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, she has a problem. Only, you know, let you focus on now and present. This. But we are not a tree. We have to see the forest. We are not, now is not all. So we are walking into the eternity. We have to see uh, in the whole picture, we are not short-eyed person. We have to see eternity. God calls evangelists from the Kenya and other country and uh, Philippines. You are not came to just you know as a student. Even though you are a student, you are an evangelist. If you lost your identity, you can be caught by a snare. So that if you have eyes, you could not see that. If you have ears, you could not listen to the what God is talking to you. And uh, so you depend on the, your feeling. You rely on your feeling. So if you feel sad, you are a little bit distressed. If you feel good, you can be very excited. It means you are the centered on your feeling. All people are were born in uh, Genesis chapter 3, we only focus on self center. And we are, you know, material center. We are, you know, success center. So Satan lets you follow and, uh, oh, you feel when you think. Oh, really Satan deceives you. Satan lets you lost who you are. That is a snare. Sometimes you don't know that you are caught by snare, but already you are caught in a snare. What is your master in your life? When you decide something, when you make a decision, when you do something, how to decide? By your own experience? By your own your feelings? Or by others' advice? Every time we have to stand before God. And second is, so we say that as, and then we have to live our the life of
anyone who stand before God, we say that that, that kind of persons are evangelists. So first of all, you have to find the heavenly mandate. I don't know if it's right or not. So why did you come to Korea? To study? What is God's goal for you? Every, every God, God made you in a special plan. Why are you working? What is God's goal for you? You have to find a heavenly mandate. Every people is uh, every people is different. God has a special plan. Uh, and uh, and then you can do what is right. What is right is what you have to do. As your your student, as your worker, what is right? Sometimes last week because of many, many things I have to deal with, I was a little bit stressful. I was so tired. So, so I checked, is it okay? Is it okay? The problem is, even though you are caught by, even though you are enslaved, or colonies, or you know, slaves, or something, it's okay. All things are in the process of God's fulfilling. Everything is okay. Your all things uh, that occur in your life is okay because we are God's child. It's okay. God is with us, and then. We have to do with the what we have to do is we have to enjoy the blessing in Christ Jesus. Your thinking, your judgment, your experience is not a crime. Only through the Jesus Christ, it is right. You know, sometimes we have to do. Uh, uh, we need a one heart. One heart it means you know. You have to study, you have to work, you have to meet people, but you have to do all things with Jesus, not your by yourself. With the whole one heart. I will tell you, I said here is a heart, you know. Uh, heart, but sometimes we have divided. Only Jesus. And money, fun, or my fame. Fame is all, it's like that. It's a divided. If your heart is divided, you cannot be a top. You cannot have uniqueness over your talent. Because the talent comes from God. When you fix your eyes on God with the one heart, you can find your talent. Money is okay. Fun is okay, fame is okay, but it should not be divided like that. We need one heart for Jesus. Through the in the Jesus, you can handle with the money. You can have enjoy, fun. You can have a fame. So when you have a one heart for Jesus, you can be top in your country, in your part, in your you know business. You should not follow the money. You should follow the Jesus. In the, in the name of Jesus Christ, heaven and earth, all things will bow down before Jesus. The Jesus is with you. You know? And then you can focus on, we say only focus on that. You can have a 24 hour prayer. Uh, in the Bible says, Disciples of Jesus talked to Jesus. Uh, Jesus uh, drove out the devils of somebody, and the, the, the uh, disciples asked Jesus, why can we do that like you? And the Jesus said, Matthew 9, Matthew 9, 27, you know, 
I'm not sure that 29 or 27. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark. Okay, Mark. These kinds can come out of only prayer. Only prayer, you can do it. If you do not pray, if you do not talk with God, you cannot have this kind of power. Mark 9, 27, or I'm not sure that, 27, 29, okay. And then you can imprint it with the gospel. You have to find God's goal for you, and then you have to, what is right, you have to enjoy the blessing of the child of God. And then you have to focus. You have to fix your eyes on Jesus. And then you can find a talent. And then you can be only, you through that, you can enter into the prayer. With the prayer, you can find talent from God. And then you can be taught. I really love the Sometimes you ignore yourself, not by others. I, I'm not good at this one. My look at my family. Why am I like that? I'm not good at this one. Why am I not beautiful? Or something like you ignore yourself. It means we don't know who we are. Yeah, same as me. Really, uh, the verse which I like is First Peter, First Peter, two nine. You are a chosen people, loyal priesthood, and a holy nation. People belong to God. You may declare the praises of Him who calls you, who uh, calls you out of darkness into His bright light. You are loyal family. You are a king. If you stand before God, not by snares, if you stand before God, you are working and you are stuck. And your eyes, your ears, your mouth really totally different. You are the lawyer priesthood. Even though you don't have money, you don't have a job, if you don't have uh, anything, you can be very fried. In Christ Jesus, Jesus, God calls you a lawyer priesthood. And the God calls you the person who can save your country. Philippines, Malawi, Jamaica, Zimbabwe, God calls you. In the Bible says, 1 Peter 2, 9, you are the holy nation. A nation depends on you. You can control the, your nation. If you really grab hold the word of God, and you can enjoy that with the prayer, with the one heart. You can be imprinted with that. Really, God will accomplish what God says to you. So, Prince Peter 2 9. And I like this verse. Don't ignore you, yourself. Even though you are interested, you made a mistake, you did the wrong thing, it's okay. You can stand up in the name of this guy, you can start again. You are new creation. Who is a, you are the new creation? Who is in Christ Jesus? You are the new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Second Corinthians, it is written. And then, so what you have to do is, you have to change all things into blessings. Change all things into blessings. How? How can you change all things into the blessing? Your trouble, your conflict with the people, your poverty, you don't have money. How can you change into blessings? First of all, Meditate, Medi meditate uh, the words of God. Meditate the word of God. So the pastor T gave us this message and then he said, first uh, Joshua, Joshua 1, 
three. I like verse five. My verse, my my verse from God is five. But the God talked, you know, Joshua one three. You know, I will give you the land where you set your foot, as I promised, like Moses. I gave you. I will give you. You can conquer. Only who has this kind of thing, you can see that. This is Joshua. What do you have to meditate, and then you look at yourself. Only what of God tells you who you are. And Joshua one three. No one. I like this verse five. No one will stand up against you. All the days of your life, no one will stand up against you. You know, really, God's word is true. If you do a uh, find heavenly mandate for you, and then what is right, enjoy the blessing you are given, and then with focus, with you fix your eyes on Jesus with the one heart, and then you can be answered only and through the prayer. It is imprinted, and you can be have uh, this kind of answer. Let's try. Let's challenge. Let's start. So God is with us, you know. And Genesis thirteen, Genesis chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. Lift up your eyes where you are. I will give you go east. South, north, west. I will give you the land you you set your foot. I will give you all things. I will give this land you and your offspring. And I hope you may meditate this kind of words. Or today, Sunday, second message. And then you. Meditate the word of God. And then through the meditating of the word of God, your thinking can be changed. And then your thinking can be changed, your you know, attitude can be changed. And then you can have your real pride. Child of God. Through the meditation, for 30 minutes with God. Pastor Chen talked to us through the purpose. 30 minutes, what of God? You can, your thinking can be changed, and your attitude can be changed. You can be very proud as a child of God. So only 30 minutes every day. If you invest your time to 30 minutes to God, your life totally can be changed. So today, free from the snare, and then you can enter into all blessings already God gave you. So you need just 30 minutes a day, and then you can have the land which God promised you, and then no one will stand up against you all the days of your life, and then you can have the, the pride uh, let's pray. Thank God for calling us your children. You already gave us all things in Christ Jesus. Lord, let us open our eyes and ears there and so let us see the blessing already you are giving us. In Jesus Christ, all things in that. The fear of the Lord is the key of the treasure, Lord. Uh, from today, with the Jesus Christ, let us challenge, let us start, let us uh, start again, Lord. Thank you for calling us uh, this time. Through us, uh, give you glory. I pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.